So Islands made an update. Yeah, we got an update in Islands and it's a good one. It gave me a lot of things to do. Finally, some things to do in the game. I've been waiting. There's not enough videos to make when stuff's not new. I mean, I've got, besides my watermelon farm, there's not much more to do in the game lately. And we finally have something. You can see a little hint here, quest log. I'm gonna show you that in a second. We also have horses now. So after much begging for the past year plus, we've been asking for horses for so long and we have horses. I'm gonna show you my horse back there. And no, I didn't sell this one. That's the other one that I did sell okay i sold one of them okay i had to sell one then my stream bullied me into selling one of them but before i jump into this be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't so let's get over here i'm going to show you the horse so i'm hearing that the horses are really fast let's see if they're let's see if they're fast he's hiding over here um your horse is lazy they sleep for a long time Oof. but gain a bit of happiness while sleeping dude where oh there you are all right so you can mount it and i'm hearing they're really fast let's see if they're fat okay definitely definitely a lazy horse oh my gosh it's really fast it's so fast it's kind of hard to jump it is a little lagged like on jump sometimes not too bad now check it out man he's got tiny tiny legs he's got tiny legs he's got like a really big mane too but yeah we got horses in the game this is cool look at his leg look at his back legs he's like so we could do some horse racing later maybe maybe some can we farm with this i think we can farm with this on my vip let me see can we use it in underworld oh yeah we could totally do that cool we can go to wizard boss they can still zap me as fast as i'm going he can still zap me it's annoying so that is the horse we got horses now in the game but now what i want to do is i want to show you this new quest system which is really what this update's all about so if we go over here into quest log you're going to see a couple things you've got an in progress tent. you know it's completely redesigned by the way this is a new quest system it's not like the old system so you can see we got the in progress here um i have to catch frogs and rabbits around my island i got to do three white rabbits and three white rabbits i guess that's the two here and i also have let's see catch fish so these are all available so i can take on more quests if I wanted to. So I could do like the harvest fruit. I could break obsidian rocks. So I can go and accept that. And if you come back here, you can see in progress, so you can do multiple quests at a time. So since I'm going to go over to um, Pirate Island, we can go over here and look for anything Pirate Island related. So I'm going to go to all of the Pirate Island quests. Welcome to your island. I'll do that in a minute. We'll do that. Actually, we'll do that one later. We'll do the crabs. And then what else can we do for Pirate Island? So available. And this shows all the completed, by the way. So you can go to the completed tab to see the things you've completed. So we got defeat bandits. We could do that one. Now, I don't know if there's like a limit or what kiwi fruit. I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can accept. Like, can I just go and accept all of these? Let's see. Let's just accept all of them. Oh, wait, this one starts your tutorial. All right. So it wants me to cut down a tree. Let's go back to my island. I don't have any trees. Apparently, I got to plant a tree. All right, we'll grow those for now. Let's go back over here and let's see what other quests I can do. So I've got, there's 10 more. Let's just go and do all of these. Let's see if I can just fill them all up. I don't know if there's a limit. All right, it doesn't look like there's a limit. So everything that was available is now in progress for me. So let's go over to Pirate Island. We're going to go complete those. I got to keep my trusty horse too. So let's see, Pirate Island. I think the fastest way for me to get over there is probably just through the hub. Now, what I am told by the devs is that the quest will give you rewards. So I'm not really sure what kind of rewards we're gonna get. I think you can get coins. I'm not 100% on that, but I believe the goal for you know this game was to give them coins. Also, they made some other changes I'm gonna show you in a second relating to resource islands. But first, let's go and let's finish this up. Oh man, look, you can see the horse. That's so cool. All right, we're almost done with these skeleton bandits. The um, spell book is not as good as it used to be. It's really hard to hit stuff. So hopefully the devs can fix that. It's just in first person, they go right through them. So I found like doing this seems to be a little bit better, but it's not not foolproof. All right, so I think we completed that one. Okay, yeah, quest bandit complete. We got 100 coins, we got one doubloon, we got one gold and two bones. So yeah, you definitely get coins. That's pretty cool. All right, so what's our next quest? You know what would be nice is if they pinned it so you don't have to keep like, like it would be cool if it was like right here. Like you can go and like pin a quest. That'd be kind of nice, like a little favorite and it shows up. All right, since we're on Pirate Island, we can go and catch fish. Um, I would go for angry crabs first. So let's go and kill angry crabs and see what we get for that. Now, melee is definitely going to be the way to go, I think. This is just too hard. I don't have any good melee weapons on me right now. So I'm just going to go through the painful process of trying to use the spell book. I'm like aiming directly at it and it doesn't work. Oh, we're getting doubloons from killing these too. So you can get doubloons way faster now. Look, I just got 21 doubloons for that quest. Wow. Oh, I have to kill 20 now. All right. Look at all the doubloons we're getting. It's definitely easier to like, I'm starting to get a hang of it. You just have to be really precise. I think they just need a bigger collider. Dude, I got so many doubloons. So inside Pirate Island, that is the currency that they're working with. Um, I think they just standardized that. So anytime you're doing stuff here, you're working with doubloons instead of coins. I still think they need to make it so that things are based 
based on ranks instead of coins. It's so like add a ranking system. Islands would be so good. Let's check our quest menu. So you can see under completed, I completed two quests so far. So we got to go collect some kiwi fruit. I would recommend always combine your quests, like take all of them and enable all of them so that while you're doing anything randomly, you might just start completing them. Especially since there's no limit, I would just do it. All right, we got three more kiwis to do. Let me get my opal axe, pickaxe out. Kiwi quest complete. Do we have any more of those? Nope. Let's go do the obsidian now. This one's really easy. Especially if you have an opal pickaxe, it's really easy. We can fly through this so fast. They should give us like a torch or something that we can use. Whoa, whoa. Did it just flip dark? Oh, look it. It's a zone bug. Dark, light, dark, and light, dark light but yeah we should have like lights around our character that would solve a lot of issues for our builds just give us a light source i didn't think about that i used to always want them to do like a full night mode toggle but they should just give us a torch like a light source around us all right obsidian's done quest complete are there any more like that or are we good okay so i think we just need to do fishing on this island so let's get our fishing pull out i'm surprised there's no like mining quest for like getting gold and stuff maybe there are maybe i kind of skipped over it all right let's see how easy it is to fish now oh yeah that's way easier here we got red snapper i don't think i've ever had a blue one is that a shark ah uh, we got crystallized aquamarine yeah that's still pretty good i like that you can still walk too while you're fishing i want to i wonder how hard it is to find a shark I've not, i don't think i've ever caught a shark i have high level fishing too so i've been fishing for like what feels like 20 minutes now and and I still don't have any puffer fish, man. It's so frustrating. So I, I think I'm going to move on from fishing, but hopefully the devs can make it a little easier to complete that quest. Like all the other quests were super easy, but I have yet to get a single puffer fish or a shark. So let's see, cut down trees. Let's go back to my island and do some more of these. All right, so I cut down the trees. What else is next? Um, Wait, I cut a tree down. Oh, maybe it needs a regular. I think it needs, um, it needs to be oak. Man, this horse is so fast. Yeah, if you have a big island, some of these quests are going to be really hard. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, there's a frog. I got one of three green frogs. Yeah, it's going to take us a long time to complete this one too. I just got to be a, I got to be on the lookout. I'm not going to beat the dragon yet, but we're going to have to finish some of these later. All right, I did it. I did it. So it says, great, now you should be able to craft a pickaxe. Okay. I think I already have one though. Do I really need to do that? Oh, we need to catch these. Craft a wooden pickaxe. Apparently we do. Boo. All right, we got to do that. Now it allows us to gather. Try gathering some blocks on the ground. That's done. Now we got a bridge to over to the next island. Okay, hopefully that skipped that. Okay, so we can go over to start a wheat farm to what dude i don't what i guess i just have to harvest wheat oh a red one why isn't it getting okay here we go okay we got a red one nice i need two more fireflies i just need one more oh here we go all right so we're good on uh yellow fireflies i still have to catch all the different colors though you yeah, have to get like three i have to catch three green ones all right so now you have some seeds in your backpack plant the seeds replant them all right we can go to the hub now oh they continued the tutorial so it says new task talk to jade at the hub so welcome to town the islanders are excited to meet you your island is pretty small right now okay you want to start by mining some resources pickaxe so wow this continues so now we got to talk to jade at the hub who's jade oh i think that's the um that's the miner over here so the miner is to your left this is jade the miner all right so we can view shop we can get deeds by the way so this is the other thing this is perfect timing because i was going to explain to you now your resource island so if you remember on your um island here you have these resource islands like the gold one you got the copper this one's yeah this is copper you also have oil but um for oil you're still going to need to talk to the baron for that but the new resource um islands here they won't automatically spawn for you you anymore so you will need deeds from jade to be able to do that and they can be depleted similar to the oil ones so similar to them they can run out and you have to come back and buy another one so that's an unfortunate if you ever have like those auto farms that you have you know that are running perfectly for you now i believe they will run out so if you want to keep like permanent resources don't remove your islands they will no longer be permanent so that's at least what i've been told and so they can be depleted much like the oil ones all right there's jade so you can buy these i'm not gonna buy any yet let's see what we need to do now i have to break opal rock i believe that's gonna only be an underground so i'll do those later i've got lots and lots of things to still do so i will do a video completing all of these quests eventually they also added a new sound effect so if you remember there was honk so you hear that like sounds like a goose now you could do arf which is literally it's literally a seal sound. <laughs> couple other big things for you that I need to tell you about. So if you remember, Tom used to be here next to Cletus. Tom used to be the one you'd sell to and then you'd buy from Cletus. Well, Cletus now does both. So you can either buy seeds or sell crop. So he does everything for you now. So you can still buy stuff. The other thing you're going to notice though, which is pretty surprising is you can buy cactus seeds here now because the desert nomad shop has closed. You do not buy any um, desert items from the nomad anymore. So if you're looking for cactus seeds and wondering what happened to them, you can buy them from Cletus here. And so do not buy cactus seeds for 
they're overpriced anymore. They're only 3,000 coins. They're really cheap now. So don't be buying them for a lot. If you have a shop that you're buying those on, make sure you shut those, you know, buy machines down. And unfortunately, you just lost a bunch of money. And then over here, blocks, you can see you can still get blocks from John here. And he sells all the, you know, all the luxury items for you and all that. So you can still get all these from him. And then um, spirits now drop a currency. So instead of doing it the way she used to do it, spirit Catherine in the spirit island area. If you go in here, you'll notice that Catherine will now deal in spirit jars. So you need spirit jars. You get those from um, not completing quests anymore, but you get them from catching spirits. Now it says you get them from catching spirits, but it might be only if you do quests. Now, some of these quests are repeatable, I'm told. So I haven't gotten any jars yet, but apparently spirits can drop jars. That's what that's exactly what their update notes say. Oh, look. So like I just reloaded the game and I got a new quest. Apparently when you reload, you might end up with new quests. So it looks like I got a whole quest series now from Jade that wants me to go and mine a bunch of stuff. And they also want me to talk to Cletus at the hub. That's pretty cool. So yeah, they've been doing a great job with this. I'm going to go and accept that. That way it's there. And by the way, I one other thing I forgot to mention, if you want your own horse, I should have mentioned this. Yeah, they added horses. You're like, DV, where do I get my horse? I'll show you real quick. So if you go in the hub, just through this portal here, go to the left to Talia right here where it says animals, talk to her, view shop. And for 20,000, you can buy a horse spawn egg. And there you go. So you can obviously breed, you know, horses now. You can get them up to, I think they go up to tier three, just like the others. So you can get a better horse. I don't know that they're faster. That'd be really cool if they had also different like horse skins and stuff. Imagine they bring, you know, skins out for horses. So you can have like a, you can get like a gray one. Man, there's so many horses, like different colors of patterns and stuff. There's like buckskin. There's all kinds. So, you know, that'd be a really, really good idea for them, especially for horse lovers. And you can even get like maybe a unicorn one or something. That'd be great. The other thing I want to mention as well is, but you can't see right here with the permissions menu. If you have a permissions menu, um, it now shows um, players by display name. So it's a little bit easier for you to be able to sort through people that are being problems for you. You can find them more easily. So I'm going to go ahead off and continue grinding these quests. I want to see what kind of rewards we get. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this update in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Peace.